What's up, people? It's Insul here commentating my old T round six series versus Sakri, which is first round of top 16. Okay, so looking at the teams, I guess. Um, ben Cart is pretty good versus him. Doc has me on the other side for some reason. Uh, Jill is also pretty good. And I thought DD, I have DD Megatar, which I thought was pretty good, but. Um, with Pex and Jirachi, they both eat a hit, so it's not as good as I thought. And my key trend is Magma Storm, but it's not Taunt, so the Pex does beat it 1v1. And yeah, T-Spikes are also really annoying for me. So he leads Pex. I lead Tran trying to bluff the Taunt, because I know Pex is like basically a free lead for him, because I'm not going to lead like Excadrill. So I think here... Okay, yeah, I just get up rocks here. And I'm just gonna Magma Storm here and try to... Because he might switch, predicting me to be Magma Storm Taunt. And he doesn't want to lose his pecs. But I do miss right there. And yeah, that's not that good for me. So, right now I think this is Scarf. And so when he goes for EQ, I'm feeling pretty good. Because... I know the French like Ashgren a lot, so I thought it was just going to be Ashgren with Scarf this. Like Rock Spit F Rachi, but he reveals to be uh, non choiced So he Toxics there, which is a good play. But it's kind of unfortunate because the Magma Storm missed. Uh, the Magma Storm missed allowed him to do that. So he goes Pex here. I'm just going to U-turn out into my Tran, I believe, and try to scare him out again. Because, uh, yeah, Magma Storm Tran is very hard for him to switch into, but obviously I'm not Taunt, so this Pex does wall me, but he doesn't know that yet. So I do Magma Storm here as he goes into Gren. And I pull a switch into my Torn and take 47, even though I'm a Salt Vest. I thought I, I didn't count that, but I thought I would take two. So now I'm kind of forced to go into my Tangrowth here. I think the roll's in his favor too, so... I don't want to risk that. I'm just going to go into Tangrowth here as he's probably just going to Hydro Pump again. But Sakri makes a really good play and goes into his Torn on my Tangrowth. It was kind of free actually. Because like, I'm not going to like Hurricane with my um with my Torn there, ever. So yeah, and I can't switch into this. Like I want to keep my T-Tar healthy because I think it might be able to win later. So I let Torn get knocked, which is really, I don't even know, like I could have went Tran there, I guess, but you'll see. This mod is just really hard to switch into for me. So I'm going to scout now for the Z fight. And I'm going to just gonna go back into my own Torn here as he does reveal it. So that's pretty nice, but like I'm still in a pretty bad position here. Like, now I know it has Focus Blast, so my Tran is not safe. And then just like knock off into like Focus Blast, just destroys that. But he stays in here, and he clicks Focus Blast. And I think he stays in again for some reason, I don't really understand that. But he stays in again, and he's going to knock off my Heatran's leftovers here. And now, um, I kind of misplay here. I think he's just going to stay in, so I just click Toxic. And he instead goes into Pex, which is pretty bad. I just didn't, I wanted to hit, uh, use the 90% accuracy move instead of the 75. So yeah, you turn out. Is I Toxic there? And now he basically knows I uh, he's, he walls me, so he can just stay in. And 1v1 me here. Unless I get like really lucky with the drops. I crit there. Doesn't do too much. No drop. I'm just going to keep fishing for it for a bit. And I think eventually I just go into my Excadrill here. So I go into Snowy. And 
I think it's just gonna scald. So I just earthquake here. And yeah, I could Z um, steal here, but I don't wanna risk like fast Lando, so I just switch out. Which is kind of like a misplay in hindsight. Like I should have probably just risked it. Like I was in the back, I was I couldn't really let him uh, defog there. So yeah, as you can see, like I don't really have a good switch in this now. Cause trans knocked, I let it get weakened by Pex a little bit. And so it's just not really, I don't really have a switch. So I, I think I go into cart here and bluff my, uh, and bluff choice scarf, but I'm actually choice banded. Yeah. I mean, looking at it, like I could still do some stuff with my, uh, with drill for sure and cart, but I don't know. His grind is kind of a threat. And, uh, yeah, Jirachi looks annoying now with um, tra Trans Lefty's gone. And I don't even know what Zard he is, which is also a big threat. Because I don't really have a switch into Zard Y. Zard X would probably be better for me, honestly. So I knock off there. And, yep, just bluffing. And he now knows I'm choice banned. So I just knock again. And the Torrent lives because it's Z fight. And now I'm in a similar bad position. Don't really have a switch in it, so I think I just go into my own, own uh, Torrent here. So yeah, it's not looking too good right now for me. Okay, he does U turn there and brings in his Greninja. So I know uh, a spike here is really obvious because my AV is knocked off and I have a Tango in the back and he does spike there, really good play. So now um, I just want to go back into my Torn because I'm just going to assume it's choice specs and just to get regen and cover any because cover any switches he's going to make because Torn has a pretty good like switch initiative versus the uh, other members of his team. So now he goes into Zard, I just U-turn. I don't know why, I, I don't know. Maybe I was thinking about hurricaning, but I guess if it was Zard Y, I'd probably just miss. So here I just rapid spin, I think. And again, I don't risk the max speed Lando, which I don't even know if it was, but um, yeah, I guess I should have just risked it as he U-turns there. So basically he has like all the momentum at this point. Brings in his Jirachi. I find out there that it's not Scarf Rashi. So his team has no Scarfer. But it's, I guess it's still kind of fast with Torn and Grin, so he's fine. He spikes up again there. Really nice play. And I think he goes Jirachi here. As I go into my Torn. Okay, he goes into his Torn as I bring in my Kartana here. He now knows I'm banded. So he just stays in here. And this, I think this was the turn, yeah. I missed there as he U-turns. I don't know why he risked that. He has a Jirachi, a Pex in the back. And um, if Torn died, my cart was just like freed open so much. And... Um, yeah, I don't really agree with that. And Torn was still like a really big threat, like offensively, because it has Focus Blast. And yeah, I just can't switch into it. But he does. I guess he gets rewarded for that, and um, I he dodges. And so now I just Heat Wave, expecting a U turn, U turn here, because I know I can't let him switch as he gets up rocks. And this is where like I kind of knew I lost, because the Gren just wins now, because I just let my Tang get super low, and these hazards are up. And so I can't really switch out into anything because he's just going to U-turn and get initiative. So yeah, um, game's over at this point. He just goes into his grin and he can click Dark Pulse for free. I go into Tang. See, Dark Pulse is there. He has 34. And yeah, I'm basically my only thing that I've left is... um. Sacking this to Dark Pulse and then setting up and hopefully trying to do something, but like 
Pex loves to hit and can scald me, and then when Sand runs out, he, he can just Water Shuriken me. And so yeah, uh, Water Shuriken is looking really good for him now. He's just gonna go into his Torn and U-Turn. Again, I can't switch out because everything lets in Gren. So yeah. So he's gonna U-Turn out here. I'm probably just gonna bring in Gren again. So he U-Turns, he kills my Tangrowth there. Grin comes out, and there's so much hazards on my side. So my last ditch effort, I have to um, hope he switches out here, and hope some like banded or misses. But he does just stay in his best play. He he can't risk me being uh, DD. And yep. So basically, I just go into my drill, but I know it's over. Iron head. And yeah. I just can freely water shirk and sweep me because my cart's way too low and I think here I just forfeit. Um, I definitely think with if I hit some more moves like the Magma in the beginning, if I hit the Magma in the beginning, it is, Lando would be much lower and I think it might have been dead actually so I could have kept up, kept up rocks and that would have been really good because I have a spinner so I can just spin away his, his hazards and keep up mine. But yeah, that was game one. Um, yeah, it was kind of just played bad. I, I don't know. I don't even know if I could have done anything different. But yeah, the hurricane miss and the magma storm miss was pretty bad. So uh, yeah, we'll see game two if I am able to hold on. And yeah, I'll see you then.